Hello once again YouTube, Chris that I bring here bringing you some Starmate Station reviews and today we take a look at the last Pirate Station in the Pirate Station category. And this was made by Skylord Luke, also known as Tank 11 Kamikaze, Dalmont, and Raven. Uh, and the name of this station is the Nexus. So, it's a massive station, it is certainly one of the most uh, well-designed stations out of the series so far uh, in terms of the Pirate category. You know, there's a lot going on. It's quite clearly some sort of asteroid mine. I'll be completely honest, the Nexus is a strange name for it. The Nexus implies that this is the center of something, you know, uh, a focal point. And I, I, it's a bit weird considering, you know, this thing is mobile. And I don't know, that's a weird name for it, I think. But nonetheless, it does look cool as hell. So, <clears throat> let's get into this review. Uh, we can see that there's a lot of machinery going on outside here things that are, you know, either drilling or sucking up the asteroid or mining it with, you know, special lasers uh, like our salvager cannons, uh, energy beams. One of the first times that I saw energy beams used out of the crystal or made from crystal in order to connect, you know, different like areas of a ship or a, a structure. So this is the first time I've seen this on a station, uh, or at least I did personally, um, not in this series, however, right? Uh, we've got a massive structure here, you know, it just feels bulky and heavy, there's tanks here, there's, you know, little bits, you know, this doesn't even look like it serves any function other than to be supportive, but we have other things like this machinery up here, these little dishes, look at that, look at these dishes, I've seen a lot of people try and do uh, 45 uh, degree dishes, right? And, you know, making a circular structure requires uh, having 45 on a 45. This is how you do it. You gotta use the corners. That's how you do it, guys. Gotta use the corners. That's how you pull that type of dish off. So, um, there's like a lot of, like, you know, external paneling, some sort of armor plates. They all look like they kind of pivot on these little joints here, you know. That's pretty neat. Something that I've noticed from, I think... Delmont station before, so I'm definitely, I think that's the part that he helped create, uh, certainly, uh, at least on this station. Again, more 45 degree angles on 45 degree angles. Phenomenal work, you know, that's, you know, something that a lot, a lot of people have done so far. A uh, few people have, but not, not that many, right? Got a little bit of Greeble. Interesting, uh, choice to go with, uh, on the wedging aspect, but, you know, I'm not gonna complain because it actually doesn't detract from the look of the station at least not at this angle you know everything is a little bit sharper on the station it is uh, a little uh, layered and that kind of look isn't too bad I mean they did wedge it too you know but it's layered you know it gives a different impression yeah lots of structures on this uh, station are wedged in that fashion where it looks like it's layered on top of itself so, you know, I'm not too concerned about that. So, we have an Isanth here embedded in this ship. We have, apparently, dinosaur bones. <laughs> or some sort of alien bones. Maybe it's a space whale. Who knows? Right? We've got a busted up landing platform. Does this actually lead anywhere? I don't think it does. There are some hidden secrets inside. But I'm not sure if I'll be able to find them or figure them out. There's some sort of... Drill? Is this supposed to be a drill? I think it is goes down quite low into this. Okay, I guess that's a drill on top of a crane. <laughs> or at least that's what it looks like to me. I could be wrong. So let's uh, look at the p asteroid section first. So let's open up this door. Wow. Very red. And I've said this in the past, washing out colors like this, you know, I mean... I'm not sure about it. I'm not sure. It looks cool, but at the same time... It, it, it just, it's too, it's too much. It's too much red. I can't see anything but red. I'm blinded, you know? You, you, uh, gotta be careful with how much of a color you use in a section, you know? And that's entirely red. There's almost no point in throwing in some of these other uh, materials, like the mesh. At a distance, the mesh is gone. I can't even see the mesh because there's just so much red in this room. The mesh doesn't stand out enough until I get close to it. So that's something those guys definitely need to think about, right? Okay. <clears throat> we have uh, some more structures up here, some more bones it looks like. I'm just trying to make sure that I find all these little secrets, right? There's this uh, section here. Is there anything behind this? No? 
Well, that's interesting. I was expecting something to be behind that. Weird. Okay. It, it does look like there is a, an, a, some sort of entryway there. There's a bit of purple stuff. And a little bit of walkway. Am I supposed to be following this? You know, the lights. Interesting. There's, like, lights in here and stuff that don't actually seem to lead to many places or anywhere at all. Apparently, there's hidden secrets inside this pirate base, this asteroid section. I kind of want to find them, but I'm not actually finding anything so far. There's the, uh, the tunnel there. There's a red light in here for some reason. <laughs> um, that appears to be it, actually. I don't think there is anything else in here. Oh, look at that. I found it. Mm -hmm. What is this? Okay. So you are supposed to be able to... Ooh, what's this? What does that do? Whoa! Lights up that area. Okay, that's cool. And we got this. Open. Close. Got some plex storage in here. Some secret mine area. I don't know why they would be mining the asteroid and therefore their own storage units. There's a massive structure here. What does this do? Oh, it lights up that. Okay. Again, I'm not sure what that does. It looks like another part of mining equipment. It's weird. They've got, like, structures embedded in the asteroid that appear to function as a part of the base, and yet it looks like they're mining the asteroid itself, which is a little interesting. Not sure what the whole idea was with that. More bones, of course. This uh, review is probably going to carry on a little bit longer. I think we've seen enough of the exterior, so let's go on the interior of the station itself. We've got a massive hangar door here, which, with the current updates, you can now wedge that uh, external uh, detailing. Alright, so we've got an interior, uh, you know, uh, pretty simple, it's basic, and yet it's effective, you know, there's not a lot of intricate things going on with this structure, there's a big claw thing up here that slides along this track, you know, a pretty neat idea, some people have done this in uh, their own stations that we've seen so far, and it's, uh, yeah, it's nice to see something you know, like that, practical uh, structures, you know, practical uh, machinery, right? So, let's see. I don't know why this light is here, considering it's not anywhere else on these little trusses, so that's something I might think about. And I'm... here's the thing. Because these three players are well-known builders, at least on the Mushroom Fleet server, I'm going to, you know, get a little bit more nitpicky with things. Uh, it's nothing personal, it's just that, you know, these guys have proven themselves time and time again that, you know, the community does uh, appreciate, you know, the builds that they do. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be more critical like this. This blue light right here does not match any of the other columns. You you guys need to take care of this blue light. Uh, it's it's I'm not liking it. I'm not liking it. The OCD is kicking in. I'm just kidding. It's okay. It's fine. But um seriously, why did they place that light there? <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Ooh, got some orange lights in here. Got some random weird looking pipes going on in the background there. And uh, if we go through this door, which I will open. If we uh, push this button, it'll open up the elevator, which looks quite intricate in terms of design. Got more of this stuff going on. A very small interior so far. Hopefully that changes. So we have Tactical Command 001, 0011011011001. I have a feeling if I put that into a, an actual uh, binary decoder, that'll tell me something. I have no idea what it'll say. We've got uh, some uh, stations up here. Again, I'm, I'm not sure... Oh, wait, what's this? Nope, that's just a light. Uh, unless you're actually meant to jump up there, there is no other way to get up here. So that's something I, get, I again, would think about, you know. Uh, people shouldn't have to literally jump up into their position uh, while they were using this thing. There's some sort of massive optical equipment here. All of it, which can like move and move into place, and you know, people can like use it to look at stuff in the station. Oh, this dome, wedge the hell out of it, it'll pay off. I'm not even kidding. I, 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 this is the second time I think they've uh, done this to me. Domes, for some reason, people do not like to wedge, and I think that is crazy of them. Definitely wedge the type of stuff. It looks could it looks good when it's done. So, let's take the elevator down very intricate elevator quite busy come down here is there a shop on this thing why is there a shop on this thing is that the shop module no it's a decorative blue screen okay 
There is a shop on this station. That's a little strange, considering it's a pirate station. We've got some uh, crazy interior stuff going on in here. It's a little lost because of the colors. You know, I can't get a grasp on some things as easier as, uh, you know, other areas, I guess. <laughs> you know, like, uh, for example, if I'm uh, up in this... Well, okay, not in this room. If I'm uh, in the hangar, the way they've got the colors set up definitely allows me to see individual details, right? You know, over here it's blue, and, you know, the walls are all detailed in a certain manner, but when we get into uh, here, there's a few more colors thrown in, and it's a, it's a tighter space, so I kind of get lost in it. Ooh, there's a fan back here. You know, so, I mean, I, I don't know, think about that type of stuff, because, you know, the variety of colors is nice, but I think it should be consistent as well. For example, you've got red going to blue going to blue, and honestly, I would just take this red light and throw it somewhere else. Somewhere else, you know, um, uh, for example, put it right here instead of this green. Take the green and throw it somewhere else. You've got green down here, you know? So, uh, you know, it's just my personal opinion, my personal take. You know, throwing and mix-matching the colors like that, depending on how you do it and what the purpose is, and the area that you're doing it in, you know, it definitely has an effect. So we come down this ramp, there's some, uh, design even with the uh, poles holding up this uh, little walkway here there's a little tree for some reason in this pirate base maybe they like their plants maybe this is supplying the entire station with oxygen who knows so we come over here and we have some rooms some very basic rooms I think they could have done a little bit more with these rooms you know considering how much effort went into the elevator shaft I think this room could get a little bit more attention is this the shop module no it's not um, again, another room. Down here we have more rooms. Uh, continue to go down. Again, this is a little strange. I don't see how practically... I, realistically, if somebody was designing a real space station, I don't think this is how they would design it. You know, you'd have to jump down to get to the next floor, you know? Gotta think about that type of stuff. If it doesn't fit, then make room, you know? And it does appear that there's a little additional bit of room over here, so maybe it would have been possible to fit in uh, an additional ramp leading down in the opposite direction than this one. So we have even more rooms. This one is deceased. <laughs> Apparently they died somehow. And we come down here, we can walk down this section and into here. Surgery and clinic. Wow, this guy, this, this has a lot of stuff going on with it. There's a lot of interior stuff interesting take using the purple in this room it definitely gives it a different vibe than the uh, medical areas that we've seen before kind of an alien feel but not too much of an alien feel it feels more luxurious because of those purple lights surgery I think is over here yep surgical room got some you know tanks over here Bobby AI oh god hopefully it's not a uh, the, the computer from Space Odyssey or whatever uh, scanner standby vitals none Suffered explosive decompression currently stashed in lockers. What? What does that even mean? Did they actually stash them in the lockers? Wow, okay. That's crazy. This is a, a dangerous place. As nice as it looks, it's a dangerous place, apparently. These guys are uh, not so uh, careful, it seems. So let's take the elevator up. I believe we've seen this floor already. Not this one. There are a few more floors. This is going to be a bit of a longer episode because of all the details that these guys have put into the station. Ooh, now this is interesting. Got some Plex storage here. Is this the shop module? Nope, another decorative blue screen. Prison cells. Okay, so we got some prison cells here. Uh, interesting, you know, it's a little... It feels a little messy, but I, I think that's just because of the mesh allowing me to see past the walls. Interesting idea, you know, choice giving them Plex storage inside their own prison cell. I don't think that's necessary, but it looks nice, you know, it's on the wall, it gives them something to look at. It's like a desk here or something, a bed, I suppose. Interesting, okay, they got quite a lot of stuff going on in here. Let's continue going up. We've got, uh, this door here, which leads into, what is all this? What is this? Bio research deck. Warning, biohazard. Okay, so we have a bio research deck with a quite cleaner environment, even though this red light is in this area right here. You know, we've got some really clean looking areas in here, you know, 
Uh, definitely gives the impression of a lab setting. Nicely pulled off. Nice. Okay. So we've gone in that room, and up here is the last and final room. This is the command and control deck warning authorized personnel only. Lots of metal grills used as the desks and stuff. When we come up here, we have Master Builders, Dalmont, Skylar, Luke, the other guys, Raven. <laughs> Raven, you'll get your Master Builders soon, don't worry. Drill Hub 2, Titan Drill 2. Uh, drills per minute or damage per minute? Two. DPM, I don't know what that stands for. Drills per minute? <laughs> Maybe? I, I have no idea. Somebody tell me, because I can't figure it out. I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm putting myself in the spotlight. I, I have no idea. Uh, but, you know, interesting interior. Again, I, I just put wedges here, honestly. I, I'm not a fan of using blocks as a staircase type of thing. Uh, got some interesting stuff going on here. It almost looks like a stove, to be honest. Integrated into that. Uh, got some upper area here. No data. Hangar control. Three ships in range, turrets active. Nice. So we got some sort of like a uh, control deck for the hangar. Let's see what this does. I don't think it did anything, to be honest. Who knows what that was attached to. Oh god, I'm lost. Lots of uh, extra space that they could have used. I'm surprised that they packed so much of it into the lower areas. I don't think I saw this level here. Nicely done. This definitely feels like, you know, a sci-fi spaceship setting. You know, they got the little decks inside the single deck itself. What is this? I don't know what that does. It's, ju it's just there. I feel like this is a bar. This definitely feels like a bar. Interesting. Right, so, internal design. The thing is, is they got so much extra space that they could use, and they haven't used it, and I'm wondering why. I mean, they've got stuff down here, they got stuff going all the way down here. Wow, they've even... Well, I didn't see the, any of this! What the hell is all this? Look at this, they got a re crazy reactor design! What the heck is this shit? Damn! That's nuts looking! That is the re most ridiculous reactor I've ever seen! A lot of colors going on with that. How did I miss this? Where is this? What? Can you even get in here? What is this? I'm confused. How do you get inside this section of the ship? Oh man. I think I've confunded myself a little. I don't even think I was supposed to find this. Like, how, how are you supposed to get in? See, this is the thing. You know, I don't know how to get in there. That's a, that's a potential issue that they should probably address. There's some logic. Is there logic that I'm missing? No? Yes? No, this is all medical. Interesting, okay, so we got some crazy reactor stuff going on down here. There's a little bit of space down here, and uh, I think more space up top. Let me go check. Yeah, lots of space up here for stuff. I have a feeling this is all filled with systems. Again, I'm not sure if that's necessary, but... You know, uh, it's okay. You know, the hangar is the largest section of the station, by far. Uh, they got some interesting little bit up here. It looks like a fan inside of, like, this glass section, like a rotor or something. I don't know. Crazy detail work. Crazy. So, things that I would definitely touch up on. I'm thinking the asteroid. As messy it is, as it is, and as, you know organic as it may look. I think smoothing it up a little bit would, you know, look nicer. I'm not a fan of the whole sporadic, speckled, you know, look of it. Um, but that's just my opinion. It does work. It doesn't look blocky like some of the asteroids we've seen in the past, which is nice. And they've even broken off little sections of it so that they're floating around out here and uh, given it a little bit of a, a dynamic shape, right? The uh, station itself is a little compact in some areas, a little tight. I think they could have gone bigger with some of the rooms and put in more detail with those rooms in uh, return. But there is a lot of stuff going on with this station. There is a lot of interior work. I'm giving the interior a 9 out of 10. I'm giving the exterior like a 9.5 out of 10. And the effectiveness as a pirate station is a 10 out of 10. However, I will question why they put a uh, shop module on the station because I can access a shop currently. Which is a little strange. So I am sorry if this uh, review was a little bit long, but it was definitely worth it to try and investigate all the actual uh, stuff going on within this station. There's a lot of stuff going on, uh, of course, because it was built by some crazy builders. This is the Nexus by Skylord Luke. 
Delmont and Rabin. And, uh, yeah, it was a pretty impressive station that they've got going on here. Definitely worth the cooperative effort on their end. So, thanks for watching. Next, we will start looking at the abandoned stations, and you can catch that by subscribing if you haven't already. Until then, I will see you all next time. I mean, they did wedge it, too, you know, but it's layered, you know, it gives a different impression. Yeah, lots of structures on this uh, station are wedged in that fashion where it looks like it's layered on top of itself. So, you know, I'm not too concerned about that. So, we have an Isanth here embedded in this ship. We have, apparently, dinosaur bones, <laughs> or some sort of alien bones. Maybe it's a space whale, who knows, right? We've got a busted-up landing platform. Does this actually lead anywhere? I don't think it does. There are some hidden secrets inside, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to find them or figure them out. There's some sort of... drill? Is this supposed to be a drill? I think it is. It goes down quite low into this. It feels bulky and heavy. There's tanks here. There's, you know, little bits, you know... This doesn't even look like it serves any function other than to be supportive. But we have other things like this machinery up here, these little dishes. Look at that. Look at these dishes. I've seen a lot of people try and do uh, 45 uh, degree dishes, right? And, you know, making a circular structure requires uh, having 45 on a 45. This is how you do it. You gotta use the corners. That's how you do it, guys. Gotta use the corners. That's how you pull that type of dish off. So, um, there's like a lot of like, you know, external paneling, some sort of armor plates. They all look like they kind of pivot on these little joints here, you know. That's pretty neat. Some, I, I, it's a bit weird, considering, you know, this thing is mobile, and I don't know. That's a weird name for it, I think. But, nonetheless, it does look cool as hell. So, <clears throat> let's get into this review. Uh, we can see that there's a lot of machinery going on outside here. Things that are, you know, either drilling or sucking up the asteroid or mining it with, you know, special lasers uh, like our salvager cannons. Uh, energy beams. One of the first times that I saw energy beams used out of the crystal or made from crystal in order to connect, you know, different like areas of a ship or a, a structure. So this is the first time I've seen this on a station, uh, or at least I did personally. Um, not in this series, however, right? Uh, we've got a massive structure here, you know, it just. Hello once again YouTube, Chris that I bring here, bringing you some Starmate Station reviews, and today we take a look at the last Pirate Station in the Pirate Station category. And this was made by Skylord Luke, also known as Tank 11 Kamikaze, Dalmont, and Rabin. Uh, and the name of this station is the Nexus. So, it's a massive station, it is certainly one of the most uh, well-designed stations out of the series so far. Uh, in terms of the pirate category, you know, there's a lot going on. It's quite clearly some sort of asteroid mine. I'll be completely honest, the Nexus is a strange name for it. The Nexus implies that this is the center of something, you know, uh, a focal point. And something that I've noticed from, I think, Delmont Station before, so I'm definitely, I think that's the part that he helped create, uh, certainly, uh, at least on this station. Again, more 45 degree angles on 45 degree angles. Phenomenal work, you know, that's, you know, something that a lot, a lot of people have done so far. A few people have, but not, not that many, right? Got a little bit of Greeble. Interesting uh, choice to go with uh, on the wedging aspect, but, you know, I'm not going to complain because it actually doesn't detract from the look of the station, at least not at this angle. You know, everything is a little bit sharper on the station. It is uh, a little, uh, layered, and that kind of look isn't too bad.